morning to everyone. This is Alok Nath, Innovation Manager of Manage CAA. We are going to come on our 107th webinar in Manage Saturday webinar series. We are continuously conducting this Saturday webinar over 2020 onwards. The core objective of this webinar series is to impact knowledge, impart knowledge, and share effective information with startup agripreneurs and other stakeholders, which facilitate them to redefine their agripreneurial journey for better impact and success. The webinar series is conducted under the National Institute of Agriculture Extension Management called MANAGE, an autonomous institute under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare, Apex Body for Agriculture Extension, located at Hyderabad. MANAGE Center for Innovation and Agripreneurship is an agribusiness incubator unit operating at MANAGE Hyderabad. It is one of the leading agribusiness incubator across the country. MANAGE CIA is committed and dedicated for converting agribusiness ideas into reality supporting agripreneurs to achieve their agripreneurial goal and to establish and emerge as an independent agri startup. Manage CAA have mentored 503 startups, incubated 310 startups, and supported 103 startups with a grant in aid funding. So as you all are aware, today the topic is role of KVKs in supporting agri startup and agripreneurs, which is a very important topic. Actually, Krishi Vikyan Kendra, commonly known as KVK, plays a vital role in supporting agri-startups and agripreneurs. But many players in agri-ecosystem are unaware about the exact and core activities and contribution made by KVK in developing the agri-business ecosystem and promoting agri-startup culture in the country. In today's webinar, we will explore the core activity, objective, and role of KVK in supporting startups. So without any delay, we will commence our 107th webinar. Before that, I welcome all the three speakers to the Manage Saturday webinar series. And here also welcome all the participants to our Saturday webinar series. And thank you all for joining with us and inspiring us to come up with more output. Participant, kindly note, please drop your questions in the chat box by specifically mentioning the speaker's name. We will take up the relevant question towards the end of the webinar. The last 10 to 15 minutes, I exclusively will get for Q&A session. And Mr. Praveen J. H., Finance Manager of Manage CA, will be moderating the entire webinar. To deliver the session, three eminent speakers have joined with us today. I will introduce our first speaker, Dr. Harish M. N., PhD scholar, having worked in research area like conservation agriculture, integrated nutrient management, integrated crop management, and organic agriculture. Dr. Harish is an expert from KVK, ICR KVK, Goni Kopal and he is actively involved in supporting startups through KVK. Many startups have been benefited with the support extended by Dr. Harish. With great pleasure, I welcome Dr. Harish MN to the webinar. Now you can take up, sir. Welcome to the session. Thank you. Thank you, Alak, sir. Good morning, everyone. So yeah, Amit, you can uh, load the PPT. Yes, uh, yes sir. Myself, uh, Dr. Harish, I am working in Krishi Vignan Kendra, Gonikopa Kodagu, Karnataka. Uh, I welcome uh, all the delegates and participants. So today the topic is uh, about. Dr. Harish, sir, uh, can you uh, turn on your camera? Sure, sure. Uh, just we will take a screenshot. Yeah. Is this okay, sir? Yeah. Slides are visible for you, na, sir. Okay. Uh, slides are visible. Yeah. yeah. You can continue, sir. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, the camera needs to be on or uh, I think uh, the internet may interrupt. So I turned off the video. So is it necessary? Okay. Uh, is Am I audible to everyone? Hello? Yes, sir. You perfectly audible, sir. Please continue, yeah. sir. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you. So the today I am going to speak about uh, the Puttari uh, uh, Farmers Producer Company Limited. So basically what the background is, uh, this is one of the uh, uh, first, uh, first kind of uh, innovation that uh, the KVK is supporting the Farmers Producer Organization. So uh, we basically, Krishi uh, Vignana Kendra Kodagu, so what uh, we draw the conclusion uh, from the past experience is uh, there are so many farmers means young farmers are coming into the coffee plantation so kodagu is a hilly area where coffee is the main uh, plantation sector crop where the pepper is in intercropped along with arecanet also so uh, for the coffee 
the in the recent past years as we know that the prices are getting stagnated but the cost of cultivation is increasing and uh, the third more point is the young generation who are living in the cities they are turning back into their villages so they are having a huge plantation means huge areas so the land holdings are huge so the farmers are unaware that how to scientifically cultivate because they are new into this system so these are the main drawbacks we draw uh, we, we came into conclusion from our uh, studies so uh, we as a institutional organization we thought of uh, developing or supporting some agri pruners so uh, what was the uh, best option we thought then uh, we thought that it should uh, it should uh, uh, benefit the whole uh, throughout the means uh, whole co coffee plantation sector itself so not even an individual or a small organization we thought of uh, developing a organization that it should benefit all of the district so uh, we called a meeting uh, so the interested farmers turned up in the first meeting around 50 60 so we explained them the concept of that farmers producer organization how it works what are the things so the farmers who were keen interested the 10 members uh, out of the 60 10 farmers showed interest so we formed a group so from there we started the uh, Puttari Farmers Producers Organization. So it, earlier it was Puttari Farmers Producer Organization, which was under Cooperative uh, Society Act. But uh, as, as we inquired that uh, the uh, Cooperative Society has some limitation over the Company Act. So we, uh, we went into registration as a company. So we changed as Puttari Farmers Producer Company Limited. So it is easy for doing business uh, under company uh, registration. So we thought of registering as a company. So it was started uh, in 2016, December 12th. Uh, so we are having the technical support from KVK, but uh, we are uh, in crisis of financial support. We approached the NABARD. So the NABARD uh, got uh, interested so about our plan and project details. So th they, uh, they were happy to fund us. So with the funding of NABARD, and from technical support from KVK, the interested farmers were uh, made into a uh, group of uh, board of directors. So then we started this company. Uh, so the next slide, please. So here you can see that the Puttari Farmers Producer Company Limited, here funding support is from NABAR, technical support is from KVK. And uh, what we do here basically is, one of the things, we, I, I, as I explained you the drawbacks, one is young generations, Another one is increasing cost of cultivation. Third thing is the stagnant price in uh, output. Means uh, the, for the coffee output, the prices were getting stagnated. So we uh, started Puttari Farmers Producer Company Limited. Now in, in this, what are the main activities we are conducting? One is that for younger generation, we are uh, building their capacity. Capacity building programs are being conducted uh, monthly or bi-monthly based on the, uh, the farm activities because the farmers will be busy so based on their freeness we uh, used to uh, conduct the capacity building programs on the soil health management disease management pest management and nutrient management there are so many aspects we used to conduct based on the sequence of our agricultural operations so this is the one of the main thing the second thing is the farmers were lacking that inputs means they were getting inputs but they were unaware that which one is the quality input what is the grade for example lime in lime uh, the company can cheat the farmers because there uh, there is a concentration of calcium we say that neutralizing value also comes so uh, this is one of the example in that the company used to uh, claim neutralizing value of something and they used to distribute the farmers to something as a company we procure in a large quantity in tons so we can check the quality of the samples uh, in the laboratories and we can supply the farmers with quality inputs this is one of the thing the technical advisories we are supporting from kvk we are having a soil testing laboratory there we used to test the uh, neutralizing value and also the other fertilizer nutrient contents so that the farmers are assured and sure shot that uh, this is the nutrient content and this is assured and we can apply without any doubt so this is one of the supplying of quality uh, farm inputs the, uh, the third other thing we are doing is uh, this is the input business in input business we are supplying fertilizers we are supplying pesticides micronutrients and as a plantation sector there there is a need of tools and machineries 
like a brush cutter, weed cutter, and so many harvesting equipments are needed. So these are all uh, procured in a bulk amount so that the, we are getting it in a concession amount. And the, whatever the margin that middleman is getting in the shops, that is uh, eliminated. So if the middleman is eliminated, then the margin of 20 to 30 percent is saved for the farmers. And as a company, uh, here the putai for the running of the company, they used to keep only 3 percent of the margin. So the uh, actual price, if any uh, brush cutter, if you uh, procure from outside, for example, it will be 15,000 rupees per cost. So uh, we procure in a large wholesome, uh, in wholesale. So we used to get at 7,500 rupees and we used to add a service charge of 500 rupees. So we used to sell for the farmers at 8,000 rupees. Whereas the same company, same brush cutter is available for the farmers in outside shops at 12 or 13,000 rupees. So here the farmers can save easily for uh, three to 4,000 rupees per brush cutter. So the farmer is, of, uh, is having large land holding. He doesn't uh, purchase one or two brush cutter. He used to purchase around four or five. Like that in lime also, he used to purchase in tons. So in, uh, for lime, uh, the outside, uh, if any wholesale or any shops you go, there will be 4,500 rupees per ton of lime. But in our Puttari Farmers Producer Company, we procure in bulk. So we are supplying the farmers the same per ton of lime at 3,200 rupees. So for ton, the farmers are saving around 1,000 to 1,200 rupees. So we used to procure 50 tons, 60 tons of lime. So the farmers are saving around uh, in per acre, the farmer is uh, easily saving 40 to 50,000 rupees of his input cost. This is one of the main uh, thing that Puttari Farmers Producer Company uh, is doing. The next thing is, the next slide please. So these are the initiative. So that was the input and the uh, here, not only the plantation sector, the farmers are also interested in uh, poultry rearing. So they are uh, doing backyard poultry. So their the main poultry breeds are uh, local breeds earlier. So we uh, introduced the quality uh, poultry breeds like Kadaknath and Giriraj which are uh, very suitable for this agroclimatic condition. So we are in the uh, process that we are also supplying that Kadaknath and Giriraja poultry breeds to the farmers at marginal rates. Next slide, please. So these are the capacity building program, as I explained. With the one, uh, one of the things I explained is on-campus ca on capacity building program. We also take the farmers. Well, farmers means they are the members of the Puttari Farmers Producer Company Limited. So for them, uh, we also conduct off-campus activity. There are some progressive farmers who are doing very well in their uh, plantation sector. We take them to their field and we explain them in practically that these are the things, these are the activities they are taking so that uh, they are uh, they are getting more income, more yield with uh, less investment. Next slide, please. This is the output marketing. We are into the output marketing. See, uh, the earlier, I, as I told, capacity building is one of the thing and farm input, quality farm input is second thing. The third thing is output marketing. In the output marketing, we do, as we know that during Corona time, the price was uh, drastically fallen. So the farmers, uh, the farmers are in distress. So uh, as a, uh, from KVK, we gave technical advice that we will procure in bulk the coffee, what are the, uh, whatever the coffee is available with the farmer. We procured it and we branded it as, as Jamma coffee. And this Jamma coffee we marketed uh, in, uh, in the output sale. So the farmers uh, here, uh, the earlier the farmers used to get, uh, 3500 to 3600 rupees per 50 kg of coffee cherry the same thing after in bulk and we exported some some of the coffee and we uh, uh, sold in the out, outlet also so the farmers uh, they got 4000 rupees per 50 kg of coffee cherry means per bag he got around 400 rupees of benefit so he, an individual farmer at least a uh, medium farmer he used to sell 200 uh, bags of coffee cherry every year 200 into four, uh, 400 rupees so you can easily calculate that it is 80000 rupees so you used to get in the output also you used to get benefit of 80000 rupees so here the 80000 rupees is added in the uh, farm input like quality planting material like lime brush cutter so many things are there farm input so there you used to uh, save around 40 to 50000 so easily the farmer can save around 1 to 1 and a half lakh rupees per acre so here the in Kodagu region, the farmer, an average farmer is having a holding of 10 acres. So this is a, one of the main thing that Puttari was doing with the technical advice of KVK. 
the other main thing we thought as a kvk uh, we thought that the farmers are producing so many vegetables uh, excluding coffee or poultry or some other things so we thought of uh, why we, we cannot supply the fresh quality vegetables and fruits to the all the consumers of the kodagu district so we uh, th- we started a initiative and uh, we started uh, jamma rural mart in the name of jamma rural mart under puttari uh, farmers producer company limited so we procure the vegetables directly from the farmers and the fresh vegetables uh, they are uh, procured from the farmers and they are sold to the consumers and here the farmers are getting uh, farmers who grow vegetables is getting higher price and also the consumers are getting at marginal price how it means the in the outside uh, the same in kodagu the outside the vegetable 1 kg of tomato it costs around 40 rupees but when the farmer he produces he used to sell at 20 rupees to that uh, market uh, means mandi so he used to sell at 40 rupees to the consumer so both are getting loss the consumer is get uh, he has to purchase at 40 rupees and the farmer is getting at 20 rupees so uh, we procure from farmers at 30 rupees and we are selling the consumer at 35 rupees so both are getting benefit from this uh, jamma rural mart under puttari farmers producer company limited so we can see you can see that membership growth over the year from 2017 it was 300 and uh, there is a gradual increase in uh, memberships over the years at present 1400 members are there the next slide please this is the annual revenue generated over the years so we, you can see that from 2018 to 2021 the first in the initial years it was only 30 lakhs rupees annual revenue so over the years it increased in the 2021 it was 5 crore overall and uh, in the 2022 in the present year we estimate that more than 10 crore of business is going to happen in this uh, puttari farmers producer company limited this is the uh, highlighted one of the main thing uh, it was it is growing over the years with the trust of the farmers and support technical support from the kvk the next slide please this is the digitalization we use your id uh, card. dr harish can you uh, wind up in next one minute yeah sure sure sir next next slide please. this is the uh, digitalization uh, we do uh, for the farmers the next slide please uh, see uh, the soil testing uh, lab uh, facility is there and the farmers are increasing. We used to conduct PMIC, PIMC meeting, BOD meeting for the successful running of this KVK. The next slide, please. This is the meetings we used to conduct. The next one. So these are the publications, various publications coming. The, you, uh, you can just uh, run the next one. Next slide. This is in media coverage. The next slide, please. This is the CSR activity. During Corona times, we used to conduct CSR activity for the flood relief, uh, flood affected area uh, of the Kodagu district from Putari Farmers Producer Company and in collaboration with KVK. The next slide, please. This is the distinguished faculty that uh, visited our Putari Farmers Producer Company. Uh, that Ayapans are also visited, former DG and seg- additional secretary. Uh, Dare also visited our uh, Putari Farmers Producer Company. So the, what is the impact? This is the important slide. You, you can see that cost of cultivation can be reduced by 20 to 25 percent. And the farmers are getting scientific package practices. And the farmers are practi- practicing the same management practice throughout the Kodogu district. And here the farmers uh, farm sector which is covered is more than 60. 15,000 acres of farm area is covered under this Puttari Farmers Producer Company. So, in the uh, we are uh, expanding our business. So, it has been uh, started in the neighboring district also under under the same name. So, with this, the Farmers Producer Company, this is agri business. We are supporting with technical guidance from our KVK. So, the farmers are happy and the farmers are able to save their input cost and farmers are getting higher revenue and the scientific management practices. These are the main things with this the farmers are getting benefited. So the farmers are paying some minimal number, uh, minimal amount of membership fees uh, and the membership fees is returned back in the uh, terms of saving of this input cost. Like we can purchase anything at, uh, at a lesser price, means 30% lesser price compared to the outside retail market, uh, retail shops or wholesale shops. Uh, so that farmers are happy and their farmers are uh, getting more benefit and they are uh, sustaining their livelihood thank you thank you for giving the opportunity i, I conclude this uh, uh, my presentation thank you alok sir yeah uh, thank you sir uh, next uh, we have uh, dr uh, allegation sir um, i request uh, aloknath uh, to introduce the speaker yeah, thank you. So thank you, Dr. Harish Eman, for that presentation. 
So next, as the Praveen told, Dr. P. Allegation, he is a senior scientist, uh, head of Indian Council of Agriculture Research called ICAR, KVK, Mayrada, Eero District, Tamil Nadu. So a brief introduction about him, more than two decades of experience in the area of agriculture and rural development in Dikism and Toga and AMP. Project management, capacity building, operation management, relationship management, and uh, resource planning control. As a director of KVK and also a person, he is actively involved in supporting agri startup and farmers. Always show passion in adding value to agri business ecosystem. So welcome you, sir, to this session. And a kind reminder to the participant, please post your question in the chat box, specifically mentioning the name of the speaker, so that we can direct that question to that particular speaker. So, Alexander, sir, you can now take up, sir. Please. Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, thanks, uh, Dr. Alagna. Uh, thanks to Manage for providing opportunity to, to share our experience uh, to the participants. Uh, as suggested, I'll take a 15 minutes time to share our uh, approach uh, now adopted by our KVK uh, since uh, last one decade. Uh, uh, can you move to the next one, please? It's audible now, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. It is perfectly audible. Sir. Thank, Please continue. Thank you very much. Okay. See, uh, actually, this is KVK uh, Mayrada is concerned in Euro district. Actually, we are uh, promoting uh, community-based institutions uh, in uh, in our all our activities uh, for uh, entrepreneurship development, agri startups. Actually, we are also focusing on building uh, a community institution to sustain. So when you talk about institution, generally it is function uh, the functional institution at the village level is a major pillar for uh, for uh, for sustaining our initiatives, and uh, the people institutions in our experience shows that actually uh, very structurally appropriate uh, to sustain our initiative. Actually, we have tried it uh, tried it with credit agriculture commodities, forest and milk. Actually, all this to be found it successful. And the main reason was uh, because the people take the ownership once we establish the institution then they will take the uh, take the uh, they will take as a ownership for that particular intervention and uh, so that it is sustaining this is our experience next next so this is the uh, kind of framework actually we fo uh, we follow uh, in promoting uh, any institutions whether it is uh, credit based or uh, commodity based or value added product or farmer producer company so we follow this like start from uh, institution and mission then organization management financial management, the accountability part, then uh, networking and linkages, and actually learning evaluation. So this is the framework we use to build the institutions. Uh, actually, these are the institutions actually we promoted in our district uh, over the period of time, start from self-help group, federation, the JLDs, and farmers group, farmer federation we trade long back, then commodity group, CMRs, community management resource centers uh, institution we promoted in the district. And farmer producer companies actually we promoted seven farmer producers company in the district. And uh, I'm going to talk about the last 10th point that is Agri Entrepreneur Service Center exclusively formed to support uh, Agri Entrepreneurs and Agri Startups. Next. So uh, this is very innovative institutions based on our experience. We thought actually it's a long process uh, based on our experience. We moved on this idea to uh, form this institution. Next. Next slide, sir. See, uh, we formed this institution, Agri Entrepreneur Service and Center. Uh, we formed in an institution which was established to provide handholding support uh, for farmers and entrepreneurs. So the reason because many uh, budding entrepreneurs are coming, new entrepreneurs actually from KVK, we conduct a skill tra skill based training program. After that, they become kind of uh, budding entrepreneurs. For them, actually, they, we found that they need a uh, you know handholding support. Then only they can able to move to the next level of their enterprise. So that is why that the AES has been uh, thought of and we formed. The center extends mentoring support. Particularly, you can see that the mentoring is very very important for any 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 entrepreneurs to sustain their initiative. Uh, and for the and and particularly, this center is providing kind of uh, various services required by uh, the uh, bending entrepreneurs. So this is the framework actually you can see KVK, uh, we started with the model and successful entrepreneurs as a collective around 300 to 400 and around now it's a 400 mentors are there in AAC and we formed, uh, we established AAC and you can see that uh, mentors are there, village technocrats are also part of this AAC system to provide the extension support 
and uh, another thing is convergence of resource institution actually here again at the district level we converge with the water the research institution whether it's a bank or department or any private and uh, public uh, resource institution we converge them and uh, this all part of our AAC system. So once you do all this thing, actually the ultimate aim is to sustain the enterprise promoted by entrepreneur. This is the uh, uh, purpose of our AAC we promoted in the district. Next. So the need, actually why, actually why we form this? One is uh, actually KVK we conducting skill based training program for farmers, youth and entrepreneurs. And uh, the point is not everyone is practicing the skill they learn from KVK, only few are doing it. Why uh, the reasons are below. Lack of information on resource and marketing institutions. So many uh, entrepreneurs doesn't know where, what resources, where to get, what is the marketing support or something like that. Then another thing is when they start doing it, first year, second year, then after they get it dropped or they will discontinue. So the reason because they didn't get any kind of continued support from any institution or promoting institution and also kind of mentoring support. Then uh, networking is also not there. District level people, are, for example, best room they are doing, poultry they are doing, but there is no networking in the district level so that actually the youth are, they are working in independent, so they didn't get kind of support from uh, similar enterprises. So then another important thing is the absence of grassroots level institution for sustaining the industry. There is no such institution to support permanently, continuously for uh, uh, entrepreneurs. That is why actually the AEC has been thought up. Next. Next, sir. So the objectives was form, uh, formulated after it is a registered body. After the registration, the committee has uh, formed these uh, objectives. One is uh, the first objective is to enhance uh, existing skill and also explore potential skills. This is a very important thing actually, and to introduce, uh, introduce new skills in the form uh, in the farming community with the view of promoting agri entrepreneurship. So second one is concerned to provide all forms of mentoring support. This is very, very important actually uh, for the budding entrepreneur, uh, particularly the quality improvement pack, uh, package uh, for them, then uh, other complaints is related and marketing. So these are the mentoring support is extended from um, uh, AAC and uh, also that provide kind of uh, linkages, appropriate linkages uh, with the technical institutions, financial institution and uh, related uh, uh, resource institution the district to improve their business. This is the another objective. Then the fourth part is concerned documentation, uh, documenting the process. So the, what are the lessons we learned from different uh, enterprise, whether it's a successful one or it is a, any, any, any problem in that actually all this thing been shared and uh, that will be kind of conducting the, the writing case studies and documentation so that can be shared with other budding entrepreneurs to uh, use for their uh, enterprise development. Next. So these are the services uh, uh, anchored by the Agni Entrepreneur Service Center. One is skill based training, I already explained, and agriculture and animal husbandry and allied sectors, including agri value chain. Then linking new budding entrepreneur to establish successful enterprise to see that they are successfully running enterprise. Then uh, most of the time, actually, they are interested, but the banks are not accepting the, uh, to extend so loan. So the AIS is supporting preparing the bankable projects for uh, the budding entrepreneurs. And the linking already explained the uh, resource institution department. Then honoring outstanding and every year they conduct uh, organized meeting and honoring the successful uh, entrep uh, enterprise so that others also get motivated. Then uh, documenting and publishing impact impactful experience and populism in print media and electronic media, which is happening on a regular basis. Next. So here you can see that uh, current year actually these are the services uh, they extended from entrepreneurship uh, to our budding entrepreneurs that is capacity building exposure 43 mentor the mentor has been developed in 136 linking budding entrepreneurs uh, 68 people uh, linked the bankable projects 34 bankable projects they prepared the branded 123 pro pro uh, products have been branded uh, then uh, nine people uh, honored for the outstanding uh, contribution uh, outstanding for their activity then 11 impactful experiences and the increased income actually they conducted an average 10 to 40,000 at the beginning actually I'm saying and these are the things actually documented and they also come out with the company team of mentors in the district, district, district level. This AEC uh, the first year 436 uh, mentors are there in the, uh, in the field of uh, farm based enterprise, livestock based enterprise, value added products. So these are the, uh, the documentation done by them. Next. And you can see quickly, you can see that awareness program, product release, then seed farmer uh, promotion, digital marketing, bankable projects preparation, then entrepreneur in social media. So these are the major activities done. Next. Next. 
So these are the gist of uh, uh, enterprise uh, mentor in it. These are the uh, IAC has mentor in these, these, these are the uh, activities uh, enterprises. For example, organic uh, product production, you can see number of products are there. Then other uh, enterprise like mushroom, floriculture, commercial nursery production. Then validated product, you can see number of validated product from milk, honey, jute, banana, cocoa pit, validated, spinula, nira, then milk, uh, milk validated products. The diary also similarly we have different uh, mentors in the AEC center. Next. See, uh, actually here I quickly I will run through, uh, there are uh, the idea of AEC to prepare, uh, to create kind of functional model at the district level so that the, 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 the model is also successful. Second thing is many people can uh, visit these centers and also can learn from these uh, functional models. Here I will take four models, actually I am taking quickly I will run through four models. Uh, one is banana enterprise, millet enterprise, honey enterprise, daisy bird enterprise. There are different models are there. These four models I would like to share for your uh, understanding. Quick, next. So you can see that the four enterprise, you can see the dot in the district actually in different color, banana, millet, honey, four enterprise. They spread over the district and the models are uh, exhibited. Next. See, the, when we start any enterprise, for example, banana, normally technology intervention from KVK, capacity building, uh, what are the different support like nutrient management, exposure visit, then support based on being value addition, value added product, production unit, innovative product development, validation of product, support for networking. These are technology intervention. After that, KVK is supporting for product development, value added product in foods, banana fiber extraction, then developed rope and fiber handicraft material, then production of bio promoter, cleaning material, floor clean, different act, then banana special product, production unit. Next. So he, you can see that uh, last four five years actually after establishment you can see number of youth being uh, trained by uh, the AEC center and you can see uh, all of it has been covered actually. See banana plant, soda stem, banana fiber, sap water and pit. All the aspect, all the product has been used as a, as a commodity, as a product. And uh, you can see uh, next year. So uh, I, again, I was earlier I was telling that mentor. So for example, I'm telling you for example, Prasad. He was the first earlier uh, earlier first beginner actually. Now he become kind of mentor in the entrepreneurship, and uh, he established uh, his expertise in banana fiber, mat, pit block, water, natural dyeing handicrafts, and also very interestingly, he started SP Grace Natural. This is a separate enterprise. He started eight years experience now in this. 17 lakh annual turnover, uh, 17 lakh uh, annual income actually, uh, net income you are getting. You can see a uh, different type of product uh, produced by him. Next. Next. Uh, so, banana fiber, uh, when you talk about uh, uh, Prasad, so here I have given background about this entrepreneur. Actually, uh, how much he is producing and uh, what are the different products he is doing, all these things. Then, where he is marketing, for example, he takes, uh, he's, uh, he attends all the exhibitions conducted at uh, district level, state level, national level. Even he visited twice to Sri Lanka and other country to exhibit them. And uh, he's also been our trainer in our KVK. He's as one of the master trainer in our KVK. This is how we are using uh, uh, mentors. Next. And uh, these are the machineries uh, used for the, uh, like uh, for banana fiber, then, uh, then twisting machine, shredder, uh, pit block making and all the next. And uh, value, again, value addition is concerned like uh, you can say banana uh, fiber processing, then dyeing actually, natural dyeing, they are doing it and weaving they have and uh, and uh, and actually they tied up with some company, even Japan, Japan uh, companies also visited the center to uh, kind of uh, signing agreement with these people. Next. And uh, there are some new product they are uh, trying to innovate and uh, continues to promote uh, new, new products. Next. Uh, next, next. So, uh, uh, we, we are also conducting every individual as well as AAC, like uh, what is the outcome, what is the impact. For example, now the banana cluster by, by this mentor is supporting for uh, three production units established in the, in the district and 174 entrepreneurs promoted by him with the support of him we did and uh, 6,000 liters per year sap water produced, mat is produced and handicrafts more than 2000 network with the uh, international uh, organization japan and sri lanka and uh, technology expertise uh, provides to the other district farmers this is what actually happening this is for example one example i'm telling you next uh, actually that is one model second model is the mineral the similar way we promoted uh, sees uh, kavita sees one uh, uh, 
a graduate uh, student and uh, she started uh, with the visa basically a farmer now she become a very active uh, entrepreneur in the same way provided technology intervention product development uh, for example secondary product like flour nutri mix biscuits flakes and uh, other confectionaries we are given and uh, now she is grade grade uh, grade grading branding and certification everything is conducted completed next and uh, we can see uh, since becoming a mentor in uh, millet i think uh, she has become automatically become an uh, expert for uh, kvk and also he is supporting very largely for uh, state department and other uh, fpos in the district and in other 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 uh, district and states she established a unit actually for uh, millet uh, sorry millet biscuits and the next so uh, after seeing this model actually there is three uh, units established in kvk with the support of kvk six fpo uh, uh, fpos promo promoted six uh, units for this uh, millet based product and the individual youth 11 units also established in the district you can see look at the down there is a dania daya foods so there are different branded products there market outlet is concerned 18 individual youths established market unit 82 uh, validated products millet produced by youths so so AAC really given kind of a kickstart and uh, supporting youngsters and running uh, entrepreneurs. Now we could reach in five, six, seven years. We could reach such a reach in the district. Next. And uh, other third enterprises concern honey. Actually, the same thing. Actually, honey uh, normally we were doing only for uh, part of integrated farming system and uh, organic farming. But later it's become a, one of the important uh, uh, enterprise in the district and KVT provide technical institution, uh, technical support for the entrepreneur and product development, honey, honey production, value added product, honey branding certification. Next. And uh, these are the clusters also. So after the uh, after the successful of this one, uh, Gobi City Poland, TN3 blocks actually they started, 22 started uh, clusters to producing honey for value addition. Next. And uh, here, actually, Manjula Pathiman is one of the mentor uh, promoted by our, uh, this AEC center. And uh, she started this Manjuri brand, actually. So, Manjuri is her pro pro product, very popular now. And uh, she got all the license, everything. And very interestingly, now she become a, a B board member. Uh, she was a very, very illiterate woman. And uh, now she is uh, identified as a B board now. And she is the first woman in Tamil Nadu to, to go as a member in the B board. Next. And these are the products we can see that actually different value, not apart from honey, then they did the honey chocolate, honey wax, then honey amla candy, then pollen, actually pollen harvest, they, that also been marketed next. And uh, you can see that now. Dr. Relegation, sir. Yes, sir. Can you uh, wind up the presentation in the next one minute? I will finish up. This, this is okay. I will finish our maximum one minute here. So, sir, so like this, these are KVK. Next, you can move to the next slide. Next. Uh, this is like that uh, desi bird so similar way next so this is a mentor in uh, this is next so next so uh, now we can see that uh, the 465 youths are doing poultry uh, production uh, through the AEC next so uh, if they are we are populating through social media you can see that uh, they are populating interacting with the outside people next and awards and recognition, because of AEC support, many people, many entrepreneurs got a university award, a state award, a CM award, and all they received from this. You can see that to honoring the AEC next. And they doc keep documenting a number of AEC next. Next. Last slide. Uh, so this is the model AEC is following, providing uh, investment, investment on skill training and uh, convergence through participation, doing activity innovations, and the sustainability through income and growth. This is the model uh, followed by uh, our Agri Entrepreneur, uh, Entrepreneur Service Center towards sustainable livelihood of youth in the district. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, thanks for the insightful presentation. Um, Alok, can you introduce the next speaker for the session today? Thank you, Arvishan, sir, for that uh, presentation. It was really full and informative. So we've moved to the, our final and third speaker, Ms. Bindu Gauri Kottaram. Our, so she is a title of, she has been titled as many categories, activist, trainer, researcher, agriculture expert, 
Environmental consultant and most importantly, she is the founder of a startup named G3 Agrotech Private Limited, based in Coimbatore. She is a top performing international sales and marketing person, uh, over 18 years of progressive experience in international agro food marketing and waste management. Mrs. Bindu will be giving a glimpse about her startup and will be sharing her agripreneurial journey with KVK. Being a startup, how she got benefited in the benefited by the support extended by KVK. Um, Bindu ma'am, uh, now you can take up ma'am, the floor is all yours. Good morning to all. You can see my video, you can, can you hear my voice Yes ma'am, everything is, is perfect okay? ma'am. Yes, okay, okay. Yeah, perfect. Uh, uh, yeah, good, uh, good morning to all. My name is Bindu Gauri. Uh, I started my career uh, with KVK. My first job was uh, as a research assistant uh, with Upasi KVK. So uh, after that, I went to, after uh, two, three years working with KVK, I went abroad and I was there for 16 years when after I came back, I wanted to start my own company. So I approached uh, Koyambatur KVK, that is Avinash Lingam, whom, uh, um, Avinash Lingam ICR KVK. So um, with my international experience, sales and experience uh, and uh, working with the different type of people all around. Uh, they asked me to uh, take care of the Agri Business School, which is a, a separate entity. It's a training center, which gives training to different type of entrepreneurs, like um, uh, we, especially women entrepreneurs. So uh, training schedule, I, because instead of starting my own company, I started like as a trainer after. And so, uh, there are almost 35 different type of training they used to give. Uh, and uh, so uh, out of that, uh, some of the training, most of the branding and marketing training used to give by, uh, used to take care by me. So uh, I found there is a gap that actually uh, there is a gap uh, after getting the training by the women entrepreneurs they find it little difficult to do the marketing especially uh do the the marketing problems they they find it like to brand it especially they all are from village area they find it little difficult to market their product and they don't know where to sell it so uh, that kind of uh, so as a coordinator i help the many other women entrepreneurs to uh, you know aggregate like their the the product they may manufacture and uh, um, make under Avinash brand that is you know uh, to give a respect to Avinash Lingam we have made a brand called Avinash and then we, second journey is uh, forming a women group only especially to do the marketing so uh, can you take uh, take the next slide yeah so in the this one uh, you can see the food processing you can see we have given training for almost 14 different type of entrepreneurs were there and tribal products 12 pro, uh, 12 entrepreneurs and uh, areca plate, uh, plate making six uh, entrepreneurs like different type so this is to develop the entrepreneurship and create awareness and motivate the rural especially rural women and uh, finding the market was the my section so KVK supported me to do the, uh, the, 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 in the value chain management, the, uh, the beginning of the value chain management, like for example, giving the seeds to the farmers and fertilizer to farmers and technical support to the farmers, all taken care by, care by the uh, G, uh, this one, um, KVK. Can you take the next uh, slides? So uh, after that, um next one is like uh, we uh, the next section comes after uh, production like after producing the um, um grains and especially other uh, things which is the, the seeds given by the kvk it is comes some uh, even fld product project also being taken care uh, then the, we give get the all the material from them uh, to the KVK and value add from there because we have space, the premises is given by the KVK and uh, the women group come over there and do all the value addition, cleaning, sorting, all those things uh, being 
taken care by uh, the KVK. So, uh, and the final product, selling and marketing and selling, taken care by G3 Agrotech Private Limited. So, before that, it was a women group. So, it was a G3 Agro Agri Women Group. Later, we started as a private limited company. So, now we have almost three different type of uh, uh, brands. That is one based on the uh, farmers um, associated with KVK. Uh, we have segregated three different type of brands. One is G3. As I told you, G3, the main brand, uh, this is actually the product made by the SAG groups. And the next one is Ayur Millets. That, that is a millet. We are actually promoting millets as a, a major product. And... Uh, we are, have given, uh, not only in Tamil Nadu, we have given even uh, supported Kerala also because there was no uh, awareness in Kerala about millets. So as a consultant, external consultant, a Kerala government appointed uh, KVK as a uh, technology uh, support, for, for technology support. Uh, so in that also, I could contribute many uh, areas in that area also. So in operation model, what we do is collect and collect from the farmers and farmers group the material and the clean by SSG groups. And the product diversification is done by JLG. That is uh, um, uh, even, even all are in this complete value chain management. You can see complete, it is uh, uh, controlled by women. No, not 100% uh, women uh, oriented project it is. So total coordination and labeling and marketing is done by the G3 Agri, G3, G3 uh, Agrotech Private Limited. That is owned by me and uh, I'm a founder of that. And next, can you say, take the next slide? So uh, uh, seed and manure, as I told you that before itself, it, it could be a part of FLD or it could be, uh, uh, you know, apart from FLD also. So, uh, seed and manure distribution done by uh, to uh, distribution done to farmers and F FPO and technical support actually given by the KVK and buyback is actually our, we are our private limited company is giving ten percent more than the market price and uh, then storing in the KVK itself uh, and then. Cleaning and sorting is done by the women group, especially tribal women group. And the uh, JLG is making the product and benefit uh, sharing, uh, especially there are, I, as I told you, there are three different brands. In that one brand, tribal treasures, uh, it is actually focused on the people who doesn't have their own land, uh, who, uh, you know, um, they uh, depend on the forest area. So we have almost 15 villages inside the, uh, uh, there are five villages inside the forest area, uh, especially there that is tribal village. They depend on the forest and uh, forest, the forest product also is branded as, uh, in that lot of new products are there. One is hair washing powder because I, I couldn't add much of the slides because there was restricted only seven or six slides. So I, I didn't add that, that many slides also. Can you take the next next one? So uh, in uh, tribal treasures, we are uh, selling uh, herbal products like uh, Albicia Amara, that is Avarambu, which we call, uh, that is a tea made of of it and there are many herbs made of out of that tulasi also is collected by the uh, tribal people and then uh, aloe vera is collected by them and there are so many other uh, herbs is being collected by them and then we give them the daily wages also apart from that daily wages the benefit also is shared by them the total uh, for example after selling the product, we give the certain margin to keep, especially the tribal women who collect the material from the forest and to the total amount will go to their, their uh, combined account. So it, it, uh, we do that 
kind of things and there are uh, many successful project we have done is one is tamarind tamarind project which is actually they used to sell it for 20 rupees to the middle man and where we could convert that as a uh, better project and uh, now they are getting 180 rupees per month uh, per sorry per kg uh, collection is everything done by the women group, uh, tribal women group. So uh, my journey as uh, tri uh, agri, that is what I call uh, G3 agri Agrotech Private Limited, it's happened on a stretch of time, you know, because I got the RKV Veraftar also from the support of uh, IAMR. Um, or, uh, so that also helped me a lot to establish and uh, along with that, I have a team uh, uh, of women who works. You can see the milestone from 2015 where we have started and up to this moment, we have even retail outlets also. Per month, uh, per annum, cap income is almost 23 lakhs. It is coming per annum. So these are the uh, major um, things which we have done. And uh, I'm really thankful to KVK for supporting us and uh, not only supporting me and uh, I could support many other women group also. And we have almost 250 women along with like, you know, in our journey, uh, we have support from them. And uh, uh, in, in the course time, I'm associated with all these three, two, three, 250 women. Most of some time I take along with me to their uh, for exhibition uh, with me and sometimes they uh, they give their product and I sell uh, in the exhibition and uh, share the margin. Uh, these are the things going on and uh, we are actually ex even planning to export our product also to uh, Hong Kong and Malaysia. So these are this is our journey with KVK. I'm really thankful to manage give, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, madam. Thanks for the beautiful presentation. It was uh, really inspiring to know that uh, KVKs have definitely helped uh, entrepreneurs like you to make your uh, dream into a reality. So now we will move to the uh, question answer uh, round. So we have a couple of questions asked by a few participants and I also have noted down a few questions uh, to ask for all the speakers. So uh, my first question is for uh, Dr. Allegation. Uh, sir, are you or uh, your KVK is uh, closely working with any uh, agribusiness incubation centers in India? Yeah, yeah. we are working with uh, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University. Yes, sir. In the agribusiness incubation center and Madurai also there is incubation center actually we are operating with it, yes. Okay, okay, sir. And uh, uh, Dr. Harish, uh, how about you, sir? Like any uh, uh, incubation centers are associated with your uh, uh, KVK? Yeah, they are associated with uh, Indian Institute of Horticulture Research, Bangalore. They're the okay. incubation center. We used to give the training. They run, uh, we have incubation center and we are associated with them. They, it is a mother institute for us. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, and uh, since uh, KVKs are involved in um, providing the required uh, training essentially for farmers and uh, rural uh, youths and also for uh, agribusinesses, so uh, just wanted to know, like, uh, are there any important upcoming uh, training programs offered by the KVKs? So uh, kindly share a few details about that so that our participants who are attending the today's uh, session would uh, get more details about that and they can also enroll if uh, there is any requirement in that so allegations are any, uh, uh, any like updated uh, information you have sir related to the upcoming uh, training sessions from your yeah, yeah actually uh, we conduct training program monthly based actually we are organizing actually if anybody is interested they can look at our uh, website actually there is, there is a call, the top you can see that uh, uh, new it will come like a new means then all uh, upcoming programs are uploaded uh, they can uh, they can look at and they can uh, they can attend the program actually monthly once we are uploading actually from first to fifth actually normally we will upload actually the first to fifth of every month we will upload the topics of uh, upcoming training programs and if anybody interested they can attend and uh, we are organizing on skill based training program on uh, different aspects based on the uh, need you know raised from uh, uh, farmers directly and the agri entrepreneur service center normally they will they will collect the 
requirement and they will give to KVK based on the demand we will organize program. Okay, okay, okay sir. Can I uh, share? And, uh, uh, yes, madam, please go ahead, madam. Yeah. Uh, in Coimbatore KVK, uh, we have Agri Business School uh, that is also for uh, especially it's uh, funded by ICA. And uh, this is actually uh, we give almost 35 different type of training. Whereas uh, I, 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 I had uh, the list before, but instead of uh, to short down, to cut down the slides, I reduced it. So uh, I removed it. I removed it. Uh, so uh, if anybody is interested, uh, to I can send the details. Uh, my my contact number, I think. Uh, is there if anybody? Yes, uh, is what we are doing, madam. All the uh, attendees of today's uh, webinar, we will be sending them the contact details of the speakers and the PPT okay, that you are already yeah. sharing. So maybe you can uh, send me the updated PPT with the list so that I can share with all the participants. Sure, sure. I'll do. Yeah, yeah. From, you, from our KVK, KVK Kodagu. Uh, so we are specialized and uh, we are giving training on a vast scale about uh, mushroom cultivation and also avocado processing. So the interested farmers and also for beekeeping, we are attaching it with the forestry college. So they give in practically so one day, seven day and monthly uh, for whole month. So based on their requirement of the uh, interested participants, they can note their, uh, get their uh, names noted down. And we will organize accordingly. So some are interested in seven days. Some are interested for one month long. So based on their requirement, we conduct programs. So it is mainly basically need-based programs we used to conduct because it should reach the end user. Simply uh, means uh, we will conduct program, but it should reach the end user. So we take down the names. Once it reaches 10 or 15 members, we used to conduct programs. Every 15 days, we used to conduct this kind of training program from our KVK. The interested participants can uh, get their names noted down to us. So we will make arrangements. Thank you. Definitely, sir. Thanks. Thanks for the information. So we have a question by one of the participant, uh, Shakti. Uh, they're asking why FPOs fail to grow beyond few millets and biscuits. Why can't we start incubation forums at panchayat level? So any speaker would like to answer this question? I, uh, if you want, I can repeat the question again. Why our FPOs fail to grow beyond a few millets and biscuits? Why can't we start incubation forums at panchayat level? Allegation, sir, you want to answer this? Yeah, yeah, actually, yes. Uh, uh, actually, the FPOs are expected to focus on the crops in the district. See, if you take a banana area, the, that the FPOs generally they are focusing on uh, now uh, promoting the value chain uh, in banana. So this is what actually uh, uh, all the FPOs are doing it mostly. Millet uh, is considered it is like a, become a kind of fashion. Even if the, the millet is not grown, that area also uh, they are they are doing biscuits and everything actually. The, the reason because there is a consumer demand is there actually. The consumers are looking for uh, the you know their health consciousness. You no, know, they wanted to get a milk, millet biscuit, jaggery based biscuits and all that. That is why most of the FPOs are uh, even though the millet area is not there, they they do the biscuits. Uh, I totally agree. But uh, as I said earlier, the, the, the major crop in the, uh, in the particular area where the FPOs are working, they have to focus on that value chain only. For example, if you take my banana colony farmer producer company promoted by KVK Hero colony, they are fully focusing on banana value chain. Manager. Now, actually, they are doing end-to-end uh, -end, uh, value chain activities and they are doing export. Now, they are even though in the, uh, what is that, uh, Corona period also, they were exporting uh, bananas and all. And uh, second point is concern uh, that uh, panchayat level. Actually, I think this will take place uh, another one of few years because the FPOs are promoted at the block level. Actually, one or two or three FPOs are promoted uh, by different stakeholders. Once these FPOs are active in uh, particular crops or something like that, there is a potential to have one panchayat level uh, incubation, something like that. That is possible. But we cannot expect uh, the FPO to uh, think in that line actually, to, you know, because they need to focus only on the micro level things actually. 
So the macro level things actually, I don't think actually they can able to spend time to do it actually. May do it. Maybe if they are capable, they can do at the Panchayat level. But my opinion is concerned, whatever at present they are doing it, they would focus on their particular crops and they have to uh, successfully doing it. This is what I understand actually. So I will add a few points. Uh, so that uh, as a, as our FPO, we are taking into example, we are into farm inputs and uh, output marketing. And the other main thing is capacity, capacity building. So the FPOs in the recent uh, days, it is uh, only uh, promoted on a block level basis. As Sir told, in district, we can find only three to four FPOs or five FPOs. So it is very difficult at the panchayat level to uh, manage because the farmers are very keen interested in production aspects and uh, it is not up to that interested that uh, we can go for uh, processing aspect so in the uh, times to come uh, we can expect those but uh, the present uh, the running fpos can't run those so we have to uh, we need to support uh, technically as well as uh, from financially so the separate fpo can touch individual panchayat levels that can be done but attached with the present the present fps is having some other mandates so they are in in the uh, production aspects thank you and so sorry i have one small answer uh, for this actually we tried in aero district uh, there are around uh, uh, 17 fps in the district and the district level uh, kind of federation we, we, we have now actually then uh, these federation meets monthly ones and they make kind of macro level uh, decisions and uh, even marketing actually marketing to the higher level actually they are doing it and uh, you were recently Chennai, uh, that one market outlet also opened on behalf of the, all these FPOs. So that uh, individual FPO can able to uh, product their, uh, sell their products uh, at the state level also. So I think uh, there are some innovative things are coming in based on the uh, initiative at the grassroots level. Sir, we have uh, one participant who has raised his hand for asking question. Mr. Abdul has raised his hand. Uh, Amit, can you unmute him? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Good Abdul, you can ask the questions. Yeah. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Harish, sir, from Karnataka, right? Uh, in in our KVK Uttar Kannada district, we don't have any facility to train farmers. Uh, there is no incubation. There is no machineries over there. So how can we take help from? KVK, yeah, you sir? can. You can just contact us. So we will organize you the uh, whatever the required facility to be done. We will be doing from our side. No issue of uh, no boundary that uh, the particular district can be done. So we can contact our district also. We will be happy to uh, give you training and we will be helping you. So there are uh, the nearby KVK is uh, the UDP KVK Brahmavara. There is one KVK. So if there is no facility, you can come over to our KVK. So we will help you out. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. And we have a question by Nilafar Kutti. Can you uh, unmute Amit? Yeah, Nila for Kuti. Yeah, please go ahead. You can ask the question directly to the speakers. Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, I, I just want to know the full form of JPL. Uh, what is it actually? It is a self-help group. Can you hear me, Adam? Yeah, can you be a little louder, madam? Ah, yeah, JLG. It is not JPL, Joint Liability Group. The oh, group joint. which is yeah, Joint Liability Group. It is a group which is actually like, for example, a, a product, a, a, a particular, uh, uh, like coconut means the, uh, the group which is only doing along, the group which do, does only the coconut. Okay, thank you, madam. So now uh, we are at the end of the today's uh, webinar. So I thank uh, all the three speakers, Dr. P. Allegation, and Dr. Harish, and uh, Indu Gauri, Madam, for sparing their valuable time in uh, providing the right information to the attendees regarding the role of KVKs in supporting uh, startups and agribusinesses. So the insights given by all the three speakers are very valuable i believe uh, the participants has uh, uh, taken down important uh, points discussed by the speakers 
as informed we will be sharing the ppts and the contact details of the resource persons for uh, any of the further discussion or any assistance required so you can directly get in touch with them and we have already shared the feedback form link in the chat box so if uh, others have not filled please fill it up and also you can visit our uh, uh, official website where manage is uh, going to conduct a lot of uh, uh, events and uh, programs to support uh, agri businesses and uh, startups across india so the registrations are uh, still open for digital marketing uh, uh, program which is uh, definitely uh, uh, worth uh, attending uh, for people who are into agri businesses so you'll get to know the tools and strategies that you are supposed to use to market your uh, products and services using uh, digital marketing strategies and uh, recently uh, we had uh, concluded the registrations for manage agri eureka national level event so the participants will be coming down to manage campus and they undergo training and uh, we'll be announcing the zonal level winners and the national level winners and the event will be uh, scheduled in the november first week so the details will be shared uh, with uh, others so soon so like this manage is conducting various uh, activities to support agri businesses across india so kindly visit our official website please follow our social media handles even uh, our facebook instagram and the twitter uh, uh, link uh, also has been shared in the chat box you can go through that and if you need any further assistance as you know that um, manage is also a, a knowledge partner and a center of excellence for rkby raftar project of ministry of agriculture where uh, we will be providing financial assistance to the agri startups innovative agri startups uh, who are working in the area of uh, agriculture and allied sectors so the startups can avail grant in aid support through manage up to 25 lakh rupees as uh, bindu gauri madam told that she is also part of imr she is part of rk of the project like this we are supporting many startups so far uh, manage has provided financial assistance for uh, 106 startups across india and uh, eighth cohort uh, training will be commenced soon and the applications will be invited for the next batch shortly so keep checking our official website you will get uh, more details in that so uh, uh, once again i'll be uh, uh, thanking all our speakers and uh, the attendees today thank you one and all take care thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.